Hello. Hi. Hello, Aries. Today is going to be your New Year's reading. You need to settle down, little girl. Mm. All right. Now we're back in the picture, right? We're doing our next year reading for you, dear Aries. I hope you guys are prepared. Like, I've been talking about this for a minute. I'll go in January, of course, but, like, it'll already be there. Ooh, Reminiscing about the past a little bit, but you're still moving ahead towards the future, Aries. I feel like that's a little loud. Let me turn it down some. Sorry. It probably was fine for you guys, but I couldn't hear myself over the music. Like, I felt like it was talking way too loud, so. That's why I got turned down. But yeah, there might be some... Moving on with the future ahead, despite the memories that linger. Okay? We're going to be using one of my favorite decks, the Crow deck. Which has very sharp, stunning imagery. As you can see. I rarely use these, and I've been practicing with them for a little bit, but I wanted to make sure that, um, you know, you guys knew. A friend of mine actually had the same deck, and I got it because I was inspired by him to get this deck. So, I almost wish it was his deck, because he passed away a while ago, and it was just like, oh man, sadness, but oh well, things happen. But I'll be using those, and we'll be going through everything, and I'll explain all the positions as we go along. Um, if you all... Da, 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 da. What was I going to say? Jesus. Oh, if anybody wants a reading, um, I probably won't start doing them again after this video until, like... After probably my birthday, January 11th. So sometime possibly after the 13th or so. Later 13th, I'll take some more readings, right? If you want to donate or whatever, I'll leave a link to my PayPal. Not saying you have to, but it's there if you want to. Because, fuck it, I got a big Christmas presents and I have a child on the way, so I might as well do something with it, right? Right, so, there you go. But for anything else, or if you just want to chat or have questions, go ahead. I think I'm going to do a Q&A reading once I hit a thousand. I'm not going to be able to take a picture of it because I'm not that, like on social media. Like, I fuck around on Facebook because it's something to do, not because I'm actually paying attention. So, the beginning of... So, the actual energy for the ending into January is there some regrets that you might not be able to get over? Maybe somebody knocked over your cup? Maybe you knocked over your own cups, but there's something that's just lingering a little bit in the back of your mind like damn i wish it would have went better this way but this is like the end of december right and we go to the four corners oh, i didn't even realize a little heater was on crap baskets okay here are the four corners the first quarter the second quarter third and fourth right a little bit of there may be a lack of offers in the first quarter, but there is going to be like an advertisement of love in the second. And there might be hesitation and then the third quarter and the fourth quarter is you hanging on to what keeps you stable and protecting your own heartstrings, right? Right. So let us go on with the crow deck. I think you guys are going to like this. It took me like maybe a week to come up with this spread because like I use what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> I use this staple a lot, but I just now got a cloth that I could use that maybe I can lay on the table so I can probably do bigger spreads. That's my only limitation is like the size. Um, apparently in first quarter, I might be dealing with a queen of swords, a elusive and mysterious person. Doesn't have to be female. Could be a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra person. Someone who is decisive and knows what to do. They might be very good at guarding themselves against things. And they appear to be very intelligent. Very elusive. Very flowing with the 
with the air with what they do they go with whatever um, swivel back and forth with that vibe all right that's the first part of the first quarter and I'm just gonna shuffle them all out I might should have just taken that one but if it comes back Okay, in this first quarter, we have the Queen of Pentacles and, or Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords with a Seven of Pentacles kind of energy, right? Like, maybe there's a lack of offerings because, like, what does this say? Production reap. Maybe there was no production involved, and that's why there's not a beginning offer with the current, with the first quarter of the year, right? You might have been expecting an offer or maybe you just decided not to give an offer to someone too aries it's up to you really that's part of the first quarter yeah okay now this Aries, this could be you, it also could be Leo and Sagittarius, but um, here is a page of wands that is definitely keeping some secrets and stuff about themselves. They're just not doing a very good job at hiding it. And an ace of wands, reverse, they're both reverse actually. There's no new beginning with somebody who isn't willing to open up. Or, wait, let me look over this again. There could be a water sign trying to offer their cup for emotion. Possibly, you know, an apology in the second quarter of the year. And there could be somebody, possibly you, who isn't letting anybody know. Or isn't letting somebody know that, um... That isn't going to work out. Like somebody is offering their affection in the second quarter. But someone is definitely not coming out with the um, page of wands that like, there's not a, going to be a successful start here. There's no passion anymore. If there was, there's no passion to start with it, period. Obviously. In this third quarter of the year, right, we have the full reverse, which is like hesitation, okay? Then we also have the Knight of Swords, someone who is coming in swiftly, possibly delivered messages about not being able to decipher something correctly. Well, this is cryptic and mysterious, so maybe they were able to decipher something, or maybe what they're saying is so cryptic it doesn't make any freaking sense. Possibly has something to do with how they like came to a decision of sorts. Um, you know. Like here's the seven of swords, but it's like I don't think they cultivated anything from this, right? I don't I just now realized that like the wrong lamp is on. I hope that's not too blinding. It is kind of. Give me like two seconds and you'll be able to see. I'm sorry about that. I didn't even realize which light was on. There you go. Now you should be able to see everything better. That's my bad. I should have been paying attention. Um, but yeah, it looks like someone's hesitating with words because they're still either trying to figure something out or whatever it is that they're going to say is just jumbled because of their own issues, possibly insecurities. It's like the third quarter of the year, right? There's some imagination and creativity going on here. <clears throat> this is the fourth quarter, mind you, so. A 
lunch fella. I'll take this one now, this one on top. Five of coins! Concern and complexity, yes! I feel like someone with this imagination with the three of coin, which I think is really interesting, like, look at all this color, like, stuff is definitely not in the same vibe. Like, a lot of these cards have, like, themes with their colors. This one's just, like, rainbows and shit. It's, like, actually pretty nifty. I love how this card looks. But yeah, like, it seems like someone's let their insecurities fuel their imagination about some concern or complexity in the situation, right? With the five of swords being a little bit of an issue with some confusion and distress, right? Let's see what the lessons are for each quarter, and then we'll see what the lesson is for the entire year, because everything has a lesson, right? You can choose to learn from it or not. It, it really is up to you. Um, Queen of Swords, once again, someone's going to be decisive about themselves, possibly Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It doesn't have to be. Someone could just take that energy and just decide and be critical correctly and justly in what she's going to do. Like, she's not just making random decisions. She's actually thinking things through. Once again, no new start. Wow. <laughs> this, is, okay. This isn't how it worked before when I tried it out, but this is cool. It's like... Make your decisions wisely and with precision. And understand that there is nothing wrong with um, things not going the way you want them to, I think, Aries. Um, let's see, this third quarter. And this could almost be third party, but I feel like this is more of like celebrations. And possibly even coming together with your imagination with that celebration. But it could be a third party since like two threes are up here, right? But you need to learn how to, like, maybe celebrate the few things you do have, even if it's not a bunch. Um, all of this worry in this fourth quarter, the lesson you're going to learn is it's just going to cause you to be stale and stagnant, right? So keep in mind that if you're going to end up secure about something and you feel as though there's a lot of concern going on, don't let your mind go with it. Just understand that can stall you. And... Even with all of this distress going into 2019, you are going to find your happiness. Possibly even dealing with a Leo. Um, and there will be some justice brought in. Maybe dealing with this Libra person who I really think there might be a Libra involved. But yeah, you're going to find your happiness, Aries. So no regrets for 2019. In the end, everything works out and you learn some practical lessons. So that's your reading for the New Year's. And I hope you guys have a good year. And I hope all of these lessons help you develop yourself to grow a little bit more, right? You guys take it easy, and I'll see you next year. Bye-bye.